Hey there, science explorers. Welcome to Kids Science Corner, where learning is always fun. Today, we're blasting off on an incredible journey through our solar system. Are you ready? Let's go. Our solar system is like a huge neighborhood in space, and it's filled with amazing planets, moons, asteroids, and comets. At the center of all is the sun, our very own star. The sun is super important because it gives us light and heat. Without it, we couldn't live on Earth. The sun is a giant ball of burning gas, mostly made of hydrogen and helium. It's so big that over one million Earths could fit inside it. Wow! The sun's gravity holds all the planets in place, making them orbit around it. It's like the glue that keeps our solar system together. The sun has different layers, like the core, where the energy is produced, and the outer layer called the corona, which you can see during a solar eclipse. And guess what? The sun is so hot that its surface is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, let's meet our closest neighbors, the inner planets. These are the planets that are closest to the sun. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. They're also called the terrestrial planets because they're made of rock and metal. First up, Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet and the closest to the sun. It's a speedy planet, zooming around the sun in just 88 days. Because it's so close to the sun, it's super hot during the day, but it can get freezing cold at night. Next, we have Venus. Venus is about the same size as Earth, but it's way hotter. It's covered with thick clouds made of sulfuric acid, and these clouds trap heat, making Venus the hottest planet in our solar system. It's like a giant oven. And here's our home, Earth. Earth is the only planet with liquid water on its surface, and the only one we know of that can support life. It has just the right conditions for plants, animals, and humans to live. Earth is really very special in all the cosmos. Now let's visit Mars, the red planet. Mars has a reddish appearance because of iron oxide, or rust, on its surface. It has the tallest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons, which is about three times the height of Mount Everest. Mars also has canyons, deserts, and polar ice caps. Next up, let's travel to the outer planets. These giants are farther from the sun and are mostly made of gas and ice. Meet Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. First, we have Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. It's so big that it could fit 1,300 Earths inside it. Jupiter is famous for its Great Red Spot, a massive storm that's been raging for hundreds of years. It also has at least 79 moons. That's a lot of moons, right? Now, let's talk about Saturn, the planet with the stunning rings. Saturn's rings are made of ice and rock, and they sparkle in the sunlight. Saturn is also a gas giant, and it's so light that it could float in water if you could find a big enough bathtub. Uranus is a bit of a wacky planet because it spins on its side. This means it has extreme seasons. Uranus is a blue-green color because of methane gas in its atmosphere. It's also known as an ice giant because it's very cold and has icy materials. Finally, we have Neptune. The farthest planet from the sun Neptune is known for its deep blue color and its supersonic winds, which are the fastest in the solar system. Neptune has a large storm called the Great Dark Spot, similar to Jupiter's Great Red Spot. Thanks for joining us on this space adventure explorers. Remember, 
Our solar system is just one tiny part of the vast universe. There's so much more to discover out there. Thanks for joining Kids Science Corner on this magnificent adventure. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe our channel for more fun learning.